Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire and I'm the owner and creator behind CL Vintage Finds and this is Thrifted Tuesday, my favorite day of the week. I hope it's your favorite day of the week. I've got Ranger here. You can at least, oh, there's his little face. There he is, there's my boy. So Ranger's here with me as always and I've got a great haul for you today. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to start. And with that being said, let's get into it. So I got a couple of holidays covered with this haul. Uh, my friend Michelle, hi Michelle, got me this one to go with my pumpkin that I got a few weeks ago. Um, it's so cute, this little ghost, and definitely can put a candle in there and light it up. Halloween is big now. Like, sometimes, like, I think last year, I was saying this to Michelle, like, bigger than, um, I don't know about Christmas, but it seems like all the rest of the holidays. I know last year when I was out in the shops, it seemed like there was way more Halloween than even fall, like a few aisles or maybe an aisle of fall and many, many aisles of Halloween. So it's huge. And I have friends that are huge Halloween people. And, um, you know, I think people go all out. So next up, um, oh, these definitely will be going out to the shop this week. I'm trying to uh, feature some, um, you know, Father's Day things. So these are little duck decoys. So cute. Definitely, this is a mallard. Not sure on this one. This is definitely a different kind. And they're salt and pepper shakers. They have their original um, plastic. These aren't super old, but um, definitely would be great for Father's Day if, if, if he's a duck decoy guy or hunting guy or whatever. Next up, I only have one of these here. Michelle has the other one. These are definitely vintage, if not antique, um, salt and pepper shakers. This is the pepper. I gotta remember to, uh, uh, to empty out the pepper. But Michelle has the salt shaker because we uh, were having some problems getting it to release from the internal part, which is plastic. So, which kind of keeps everything safe. Um, side note on these, definitely with salt and, and any kind of silver and a lot of other places too, don't keep the salt in it like year round if you're not using them, um, it, you know, because salt, I don't know, corrodes and, uh, and bad things happen. But we think that that's going to be fine. She was just having her husband look at it. Oh, these are so pretty. I know you guys love square plates. These are really heavy duty. I haven't looked them up yet. Let me look. Still don't have my new glasses. Um, I tried to call there today. I think these are French. It says Aux de Provence. You know, it's in French. And um, so, but so pretty. Love them. I only got two. Like I said, very heavy duty. Um, they could definitely go in a tiered tray. It'll probably take a lot of drilling, but, um, that's what we were thinking when we found them. So, that's that. Then, okay. So, these can go back in there. Feels like I'm forgetting things as usual. Okay, these are old. They came from a estate sale on Michelle Street down in Selkirk, but they are old. You can tell by the bases. Um, they're a little fuzzy. And uh, just some trees for, for me for next year. You guys know how I love to make my... Um... Wow, is there something else in this box? There's something in this box I don't think I realized. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's some fencing for like, um, you know, villages. So it's just, I think, a piece of fencing. Nope, there's two pieces of fencing. Didn't even know they were in there. 
you know, for the Christmas villages. So, um, anyway. Oh, Jordan Marsh. I remember Jordan Marsh. Jordan Marsh box. Whatever happened to them? Uh, okay. Then, we grabbed some other, like, Christmas things. The, oh, this was a whole bag of finials. Um, yeah, I'm always, you know, I, I always end up with lamps without finials and they're expensive to buy. So Michelle actually found that she, I don't, she didn't even know that. I don't think I even told her that. Okay. Then this was, you know, I don't know. This just reminded me of prints, but again, I was thinking it would be good for some of my little arrangements. These are little, so cute. These little pine cones are real pine cones and they're so cute. These just, um, why can't I think of the word for it? You know, go around candles. But I figured um, I can either take them apart or I don't know, we'll have to see. And then I got some that are like this too. Candle rings, Oh, I love candle rings. Don't know why I couldn't think of it. This is not a candle ring, I don't think. But, but it was nice berries. This we thought was so cute. It's an ornament, but it's wine and cheese. How cute is that? So that's that. <gasps> a chubby bird. I have a whole collection of these. Um, just simple glass uh, chubby birds in my, in my kitchen. So I grabbed them. All right. I keep saying I'm gonna bring them out to the carriage house, but I haven't done that yet. This was just, again, some birds, it's another little ornament, but look how cute they are, birds on a little swing. Too cute. So, I wonder if that's another Jordan Marsh box. That's kind of funny, I didn't even notice that. I think, oh, here's a cardinal. Look how cute, in a nest with snow. So, this house, this estate sale, was Michelle's neighbor. Um, we talked to the son-in-law and um, these people just took meticulous care of everything they owned. So, and you could definitely tell. Um, this is Wits End, a Wits End box. So some of those, it's for those of you not familiar with Wits End. Um, oh, I shouldn't say this. I've heard um, that it's, you know, kind of pricey. We'll just say it that way. It's kind of, it can be kind of pricey. So, um, all right so i got these from the same from again from michelle's neighbor they're kind of like paper mache or something they're you know they're good size you can see compared to my head they're decent size i don't love this gold so last year when i got those acrylic deer and i painted them black like everybody loved it and that was my thought on these to paint them black um, those sold immediately in my booth. So um, I really loved the way they turned out. I mean, it was just simple, straight black. Um, hey, I like gold, so this doesn't bother me, but other people really seem to not like it. But I got to tell you, the black was super sharp. Okay, next up, you know, I always grab candle bases when I see them. These were nice. This one, I'm pretty sure it's wood with a metal top, which you know always like I let, like mix. This is Pottery Barn. It was originally um, 40 bucks for just the one, but it is wood. It's weird, it's two pieces of wood. So I don't know why, I don't know, it's weird. It looks like it's pieced together throughout most of it, but not all of it, so weird. But anyways, this is a really nice one. You know I like to take candlesticks that are mismatched and turn them into a set. So that's what my plan is with that. These last few items, so this is, I guess isn't gonna be a super long video. Where are we at? We're only at nine and a half minutes. Um, seems like I forgot like housekeeping items, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm getting confused. I, um, I've been really good about being consistent with my Thursday videos which is messing up my YouTube channel. I really needed to post two videos a week, but I'm just not, when I'm out thrifting, I'm not finding anything interesting to be filming. 
And so, but I got an extra special surprise for you this week. I filmed earlier today at the Central Park Rose Garden. It is peak bloom right now, which you can tell because my allergies are affecting me. My arrangers are affecting him too. But it was stunning today, even though it's an overcast day. So that's what I'm going to be posting on Friday this week on YouTube is Central Park Rose Garden in peak bloom. It was beautiful in there and there weren't too many people. So it was nice for me to be able to do it. I'm not sure on the age of this. I got this at an auction on Sunday. Right now I'm planning on keeping it if I can find some screws. I don't love the paint job, um, but I like this. You can still get this. This is very heavy wrought iron. I'm not sure I love, like I said, the way this has been painted, but yeah, um, I don't mind it. And if I can get some nice wood screws, I'm planning on keeping it. Um, I get, like I said, I found on a couple different sites, current, you know, they didn't say they were vintage or anything. I found some vintage ones too. So I just don't know whether this is vintage or not. So that's why I decided I'll just keep it. I love hummingbirds. Oh, you guys, I didn't do any thrifting yet this week, but yeah, I went to a bunch of garden centers yesterday because I was looking for just a couple more things. And actually now I still need a couple more things, but I was at Hewitt's in Scotia and they have some fuchsias in there. And a hummingbird was like six inches away from my face, came right to the fuchsia plant and didn't care that I was there and loved the fuchsia plant. So now I have to have one. So I couldn't find anybody there that was working to tell me how much they were. But um, so that's my plan for this. I'm gonna put this, it'll be close to one of the feeders and I wanna put a fuchsia on it. Um, I mean, that to me was such a big sign. The whole garden center was full of flowers and the hummingbird went right to the fuchsia. That's where it wanted to be. So I'm like, I need one. Um, so I'm in search of a fuchsia now and I just may go back to Hewitt's and just, you know, hunt somebody down. So this, that's this. Next up, I digressed a little bit, but this is such a nice basket. It is very old. This came from an auction. There were lots of very, very old, probably all antique baskets. I'm, you know, not great at that, telling the age of baskets, but this certainly isn't, it, it's it's old. I don't know how old. I don't know whether it's antique or not, but, um, and the auctioneer didn't say, but it's, there's not any damage that I see anywhere. It's kind of bowed out a little bit in the front, but it doesn't look like it's stretched or anything. It looks like it was always that way. It's the handles wrapped nicely. I mean, it's in really nice shape. It's a really well-made, very large, as you can see, basket. So love this. That'll probably be going out to the carriage house this week. Oh, I missed this. It's funny, when I saw this, I was with Michelle. I'm like, that looks like Fenton. And from what I can tell, this is Fenton. It doesn't have the, it's, it's got a pontil mark, so it's hand blown. Um, I would say that it's probably before 1971, although I couldn't find any age on it. Maybe it's different with some of the hand blown glass as opposed to the milk glass for the way they did their mark, but it's just a tiny picture. Some people called it a creamer. Some people called it for syrup. So it's like four, four and a half inches tall, but super pretty. And you can see the, you know, kind of white on the inside with the blue over it. It's gorgeous. So um, that's that. I didn't show that already, did I? Oh my God, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Um, I might've lost it a long time ago. I don't know. Okay, but last from what I can tell, but certainly not least, I love this. This is why I went to this auction this week. I specifically love this one. Look how big it is. I posted this on Facebook this morning. This is super heavy, super huge. I think it's 19 inches high. I think I measured it. I think 19 is what I remember. Um, so, you know, pretty close to two feet. I don't know, seems larger. Super heavy. I believe this to be old. 
here's what the base looks like. It needs to be cleaned. It's a mirror, so I want to, it's a mirror with a wood base with feet. I feel like anything, anything that you have that's tall like this, you know, 18 inches tall or something would look phenomenal in here. You guys know how much I love cloches and I make things out of cloches. I only got one. They did choice. I was second up, so somebody else chose another one. I was so happy she didn't choose this one. And so I took second, but based on, I mean, I paid up a lot for this piece, and I just didn't like any of the other ones better. At the very end of the auction, they did some of the smaller ones, but again, they went really high. Um, and so this is the only one I got. I would have liked to have gotten them all because you could tell they were vintage. Some of them had some kind of weird thing. One had taxidermy pieces of live birds. Well, obviously not live birds, but there were real, there were living birds at one time. Um, that creeped me out just a little bit. So I did not get those. This had nothing in it. Some of them had like floral arrangements. So they all had something that was being cloched. And this one was empty, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want any of the weird taxidermy or any of the, I mean, I just didn't know enough about some of those things, so I didn't want to take a chance and pay up, and, you know, that's that. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for following. Please, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Please comment. I need it now more than ever. My channel has gotten monetized, then your algorithm changes. And I feel like I'm just not getting the um, engagement that I was getting before. And I need it now more than ever because I can lose my um, monetization. So please, please, it costs you nothing and it helps me out so I can keep bringing you things and keep doing what I'm doing. And it's all because of you guys and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. You have a great one. I can't wait to show you this, the Rose Garden on Friday. And for those of you on Facebook, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday's Treasures Live. Have a great one, everyone. Till next time.